Mr. George Kyle, head of sponsorship at Tea in the Park, the man behind the money. Yes, in some <laughs> respects. Okay, now you've got quite a few different things that you're doing this year, as you do every year, starting with the tea break stage. Yeah, a tea break is, is you know, in terms of Tennis Lager's commitment to music, we have the two ends of the scale. We have tea break, which celebrates um, Scotland's unsigned musical talent, oh. and we also have, obviously, a tea in the park itself, which we're here to launch today. Um, the great thing from a tenant's perspective is we do support both ends of the spectrum um, and nothing's clearer in terms of that is Biffy coming back to headline a stage having played tea break way way back in 1999. And so did you spot them personally? No, no, it's uh, far far more talented and impressive people than myself um, but I think I think that that is that the, the... I mean that is some journey isn't it uh, to go from that to that. Absolutely, um, you know, and it, it says so many things. It, it, it showcases the fact that Scotland has an incredible depth of musical talent. It showcases the fact that Scotland can support and recognise bands at that level who can then go on to achieve international, worldwide fame and stardom, um, and come back and headline the festival, and obviously have an affinity and a love for the festival absolutely. itself. Absolutely, um, I think it's, it's kicked them off. Absolutely, absolutely, and it's their tenth time and. Uh, to, to welcome them back, you know, I know Jeff had said that they, 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 they held off uh, appearing for a couple of years because they wanted the headline, and, and they've achieved that ambition now, and, and they will go down an absolute storm. Uh, I'm sure there will be cake on the day for their 10th there, there, birthday there, as there well. There may well be to, to, yeah, to, to recognise and acknowledge that. that. Um, so who else have you got your eye on this time round? Is there anybody that you think is blossoming well? Well, I think it's I think for. For myself and, and for, for tenants, it's, it's more a, a recognition of, of milestones. And again, in the 21st year, Manning Street Preachers are back this year who played the, the first year. Um, Paolo um, is back again, and, and Paolo's played the, the tea break stage again. Didn't come to the tea break programme, but has a love for tea in the park and has a love for the, the tea break programme that he, he, came and, he, came, he came and appeared. Um, tea break will be back again this year. You know. Um, it's been a it's been a mainstay since 1996, and the wonderful thing about the Tea Break program is, it's a tent, it's a destination, it's a stage, it's a destination over the course of the weekend, and you you know the fact that at some point in in, in the future, someone will be referencing again the fact that they saw a band at Tea Break stage, who then went on to play further up the bill and even um, headline the event in years to come. Brilliant. Now a couple of quick questions. Yes. Who are you looking forward to seeing this year? Um, for myself, uh, Pharrell. Um, I, I, I saw, I, I actually saw Frail uh, play after the MTV Awards in the, the Corn Exchange in, in Edinburgh, um, and it was we, we attended the, the awards themselves, which were it was an event, you know, it was yeah. a it was a world class, but it was a made for TV event. It felt a bit sterile. Um, the real event was NERD playing at the, the Corn Exchange, and, and then. To see that performance, but to see him joined by the likes of uh, Sean Paul, uh, Justin Timberlake, Beyonce, um, Black Eyed Peas was incredible. Um, so again, a sense of full circle, coming to play Tea in the Park when he nice. is the man of the moment will be incredible. Absolutely. And also, as, as the man that's got tea tenants galore, uh, who is it that guzzles the most uh, tenants? Obviously, we drink responsibly at festivals, but are there any bands that you can spill the beans on? No, I think, uh, I think again, Jeff has shared the stories over the years. Uh, I think there's a romantic myth of the excesses that bands and artists get up to, and uh, that maybe happened in, in days of your, and uh, they all seem to be on their very best behaviour nowadays. <laughs> okay, that's way too clean an answer, <laughs> but okay, I'll let you off with it. Thank you very much, George Kyle. Pleasure, Ben. Thank you. Thank you.